Welcome to my quick and easy feeder guide. This is how I prepare my ground bait, enhance my hook baits, load my feeder and get the most from each and every cast. One of my biggest edges is beetling. I add two caps of the seafood version to the water before mixing my ground bait. By doing this the liquid solution is evenly mixed throughout giving you maximum attraction in a bite sized presentation. The intense flavour will overcome any sediment odours and will provide a sweet fishy trail one cast, hopefully one bite. Take your chosen ground bait. I'm using the Seafood Expander Mix. Add approximately four to 500 grams, half a bag. Then start to add the beetling water solution gradually. Mix in with your hands as you go. A round bucket or bowl is best for this. Makes it much easier for mixing. Remember, you can always add, but you can't take away. Once riddled, you're left with a lovely, fully loaded, soft and fluffy mix, which is perfect for the feeder. I'd leave it for around 10 minutes before using. This allows it to set and the water and flavour to be fully absorbed in. I riddle each and every single ground bait. If you look at the lumps before riddling, just imagine if your hook is behind one of those after it's been fully compressed. That's a missed opportunity right there. Also, bigger lumps will fill up the fish quicker. Smaller, finer blends keep them interested and rooting around for longer periods of time. You should be able to pick up the mix and squeeze it in your hands. The mix should hold in place. If it's too dry and cracky, simply add more water. You can do this by using an atomizer or just wet your hand and mix thoroughly. That's normally enough. If your mix is too wet, it will not release from the method feeder and again it will cost you bites. Moving on to hook bait choice. For around three quarters of the year I normally use the seafood boosted barrels. Match the hatch. That said, I've always got a selection with me because sometimes on the day, certain colours or flavours will just produce more bites. When you've a fair few carp in your swim, I tend to stick to a heavy hook bait. I believe this helps with less foul hookers. If you've seen carp feeding in the edge in, in a frenzy, imagine a little wafter being washed around. With a pellet or a boosted barrel, because of a density, it will hold much closer to the bottom, even with the disturbance, and allow for better hook holds and fewer foul hookers. My favourite rig is the QM1 bait band in a size 12 or a 14 in a 4 inch. Simply take the band, pinch the top of it and stretch it over the hook bait and set it into position around the centre area. If you struggle, there is a bait band tool. Feeder wise, I love the Matrix Inline Method feeders in 15 or 25 grams. I use the 15 ones where possible for the small short little chucks. But if I need to cast further distances or I'm fishing on a slope, then the heavy feeder is the one. Always allow yourself around three foot of line when fishing to the clip. Never point the rod directly at your spot when the feeder or bomb hits the water. Simply cast your feeder. Whilst in the air, bring the rod behind your head or to the left or right of your position to give you that allowance. This ensures you plenty of line when the fish bolts. Once done, dip the tip and sink your line to ensure you're directly in contact with your feeder. Tighten if needed. However, be very careful when tightening up to the feeder. Only apply a small amount of tension to ensure the feeder does not move. I normally feed some pellets over the top to stir up some interest. This also gives you a good indication to whether or not more fish are up in the water than low down. If I don't get any bites on the bottom but could see carp taking pellets, out comes the float rod. I hope this helps. Keep an eye on the water, keep active, give yourself options and keep working your swim. As the weather gets colder, you might be waiting 20 minutes between casts instead of five, remaining active, keeping an eye on the water, you normally can make it happen. Try deeper spots and keep an eye on where those fish are grouped up. Feeder fishing is a deadly tactic and can be used year round. I hope this helps.